What do you know, MAGA Republican James Comer, who chairs the Oversight Committee, was secretly involved in a failed deal with a Chinese hemp company. Yes, MAGA Republican James Comer, who has been attacking Hunter Biden and holding all of these hearings where Marjorie Taylor Greene holds up like the nudes of Hunter Biden. Yes, James Comer had some secrets he was hiding, and James Comer was using his position as the agriculture commissioner in Kentucky to try to funnel uh, money through this failed Chinese uh, deal. Let's go through it. Uh, The Daily Beast got the exclusive, and they broke the story, so hat tip to them. Representative James Comer from Kentucky has for months used his power as House Oversight Chair to assail Hunter Biden's involvement in a failed business deal with a Chinese energy company. But the Daily Beast has obtained emails and other documents showing that when James Comer was running for governor of Kentucky, he himself was involved in a failed Chinese business deal. It involved importing Chinese hemp seeds through Comer's office when he was Kentucky's agriculture commissioner to benefit a campaign donors company that Comer had fast-tracked for his industrial hemp pilot program. The documents, which the Daily Beast obtained after the Kentucky government released them to a third party in response to Open Records request, contain a stunning revelation. While the emails show the involved parties were intending to import only legal hemp, two rounds of tests revealed the plant seeds were essentially Chinese pot containing illegally high levels of THC, the psychoactive compound that gives marijuana users a high. So now we all know when James Comer goes, well, well, we know he's getting high on his own supply. As Democratic Congress member uh, Jared Moskowitz stated, the article goes on to say, the records chalk up the error to the decision to order the seeds that, quote, do not have good breeder documentation, warning that the parties may, quote, run into the issue again. Emails then show an intent to destroy the plants after the second test. If the plants were destroyed, however, it was not documented in the thousands. You repeat that. Thousands of emails and attachments that the Kentucky Department of Agriculture and Murray State University University produced in response to the open records request. Records show Comer's office, this is directly linked to James Comer's, folks, that Comer's office wanted the KDA to oversee the proposed eradication, but the trail at that point went cold. There appears to be no record of the destruction or confirmation that state or federal law enforcement ever learned of the illegal plants. No one has ever spoken about these events publicly. Now, After the matter was resolved, Comer's office sent a memo with his seal to program participants advising how to handle law enforcement inquiries. Quote, there is nothing criminal occurring with these projects, the memo said. The program is in compliance with both state and federal regulations, so there is nothing to hide. One bullet point was written in bold that read, however, if a request to collect industrial <laughs> if however, if a request to collect industrial hemp material for a testing sample is made, refer law enforcement to KDA and do not allow the sample to be collected. Repeat, do not allow the sample to be collected. The memo suggested contacting the deputy commissioner, noting, quote, without court order or warrant, you are under no obligation to allow the collection of a testing sample. This affair overlapped with James Comer's failed gubernatorial campaign for which the donor's company hosted a fundraiser. While Comer made no secret of the industrial hemp pilot program, it was his top legislative priority as agriculture commissioner. Emails between him, officials at his office, executives with the donor's company, and officials at a university involved in the program reveal an effort to keep the the Chinese hemp debacle under wrap. For instance, in a May 20th, 2014 email to four people, including Comer and his chief of staff, an official with the donor's company wrote that the donor had, quote, confirmed that he has some seed being sent directly to your office from China. 
The official added that Comer's office should send the hemp seeds directly to their academic liaison at MSU, copied on the email who agreed to test them. The email concluded, I need to keep this between the four of us. Comer did not reply to that email. The shipment arrived on May 23rd, according to a follow-up email. It was a sensitive time on May 14th. The KDA sued the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration over the seizure of 250 pounds of hemp imported for its pilot program from an Italian supplier drawing national attention. The DEA released the Italian hemp one day after the company notified Comer of the inbound Chinese shipment. Comer has cited the hemp program as a crowning achievement, lauding the pro the project he tried to recreate its success in a first bill he sponsored in Congress, the failed Industrial Hemp Farming Act of 2017. However, the Chinese hemp imports, potentially mislabeled as a decoy for customs inspection and eventually found to contain quantities of THC, nearly 10 times the legal limit, were never made public. It says the company at the center of the story is Caudill Seed, based in Kentucky and the poster child for Comer's program. It goes on to say how they were a big donor of James Comer and it then talks about the further relationships that uh, they had. Um, and the article goes on to describe you know, more of these links. The Caudill Seed had business ties to China, including at least one facility and at least two patent applications. Comer knew the company had been looking to China, telling the Frank State Journal in 2012, they'd been to China and other countries, research what the seed market looks like over there. They want to get into this. Um, and then it goes on to talk about last July in an interview on Fox Business, Comer blamed Joe Biden for China gaining access to our markets when he was vice president, a period that overlapped with Comer's involvement in efforts to import Chinese hemp. Hmm. So it seems like James Comer, a hit dog, will holler. Holler. Is that how you would say it? Holler. R remember this moment where Democratic Congress member Jared Moskowitz was pointing out James Comer and his brothers, other shady business dealings, and the fact that the real crime family is the Comer crime family, as James Comer used his position as Kentucky's agriculture commissioner to move around, you know, and, and do all these shady business deals there, right? Right, James Comer, just like you're accusing others of, that's what you were doing. Remember this moment, play the clip. But you and Goldman, who is Mr. Trust Fund, Continue to try Recla to reclaim my time. No, I'm not going to give you your time back. We can stop the clock. You all continue to. You look like a Smurf here, just going around and all this stuff. Now, listen, M Mr. Chairman. You no, have. No, I'm going to tell you no, no, something. Hold on, if we're you if we're not on time, we you disinformation. You, you, you have you gone on TV and you said the president did something you illegal. You're doing stuff with your brother. The American people have the same questions. Why should they believe you? Why should they believe you? Why should they believe you? There's, there's a different rule for the you president. There's a different rule for you. Why should they believe what you're saying, Mr. Chairman? Why? You go on Fox News and say loans you and deals are a way to evade taxes. We don't know that's what you're doing or not. We don't know. We have no idea. We're supposed to take your word for it. But when the president says Well, you've says already been proven a liar, Mr. Moskowitz. What's that? You've already been proven a liar. Today. Who's proven me a liar? You? Yes. Your word means well, nothing, come, Mr. Come, Chairman. Go to my hometown. There's a camera crew there today, an opposition research crew there today. Mr. To Chairman, this seems to have gotten under your welcome. this seems to have gotten under your skin. I'll pay I mean, for your I, ticket. I, I, I think the American people have lots of questions, Mr. Chairman, and perhaps you should sit maybe for a deposition. I would. I will be questions. happy. Give a hat tip to the Daily Beast right there for breaking that uh, incredible story. Um, MAGA Republican James Comer exposed as a utter, utter fraud and utter, utter hypocrite, but. Shouldn't it be all that uh, surprising? Importing Chinese hemp for your donors and then not realizing that it has 10 times the legal limit of 10 A hit dog will holler. A comer will holler. Hit subscribe. We're on our way to 3 million subscribers thanks to your support. Enough! Send him to the big house, not the White House. Get the new exclusive tees, mugs, and stickers right now at store.midastouch.com. That's store.midastouch.com.